Hi, my name is Dave Gerhardt and welcome to percussioneducation.com. Today we're going to talk about a simple concept on the snare drum that will help you sound immediately better. Okay? Now, when I'm playing snare drum, there are zones that I'm thinking about playing in. And I think, unfortunately, most people when they're playing, especially students, are just thinking about playing in the same zone and so they're not utilizing the full range of the drum that they're playing on. Okay. Now when I'm thinking about zones on a snare drum, on a 10 lug drum, like this is, this Yamaha drum, I'm thinking if I lay a stick here and a stick here, my range of playing is between those two lines. So I'm not playing in the center of the drum, I'm playing about three quarters of an inch off the center of the drum and I'm not going past the logo so that's why I put this line here and with the Remo heads you can see like this lines up perfectly so if I just stick to not going past there then I'm gonna get the best tone on the drum okay and the reason I think about the zones are if I'm playing soft the drum sounds similar, okay? Now, if I've got a piece, whether it be a De La Cluse piece, whether it be a uh, Mitchell Peters etude or a Cerrone etude or something like that, I'm using those zones. Because it's gonna be soft and it's going to be loud. So I wanna keep it within that zone. Now, if I'm playing a piece that's all quiet, then of course I'm gonna use these zones and widen them out and go all the way out to the edge, okay? Um, bolero, there's no way I'm gonna play start bolero here. I'm gonna start it out here. So on and so forth, okay? So the main reason that I'm playing in this zone here is to try and make the drums sound the same. So when I play here, it sounds similar versus going all the way out to here. It almost sounds like I'm playing on a different drum. So keeping those zones familiar and r reminding yourself piano to forte or pianissimo to fortissimo, that helps me play with a more consistent sound and also helps me balance, okay? Now the other thing that I wanna talk to you about today is the angle, okay? So, if I think of putting my stick at about a 45 degree angle, maybe 30 degree angle, above the, uh, the drum, when I'm out on the edge, my stick is only going about that high. As I come in, my stick starts to go higher, and I can even play even higher. But the main thing to think about is you've got this angle that's coming in and when I play softer I'm not playing two three inches even though I'm moving out so I move out and I get closer to the drum head as I go out so I'm thinking like this Okay. Now, that may be an obvious statement and an obvious video, but there are a lot of students that I see that don't think about their zones. Okay. If you have an old drum head, a great way to do is to take your stick and just mark with a sharpie so you see what those zones are. Remember, you're not ever going to play in the snare drum. I'm gonna, not going to say ever because that's not the correct one. You're generally not going to play in the center because it's going to give you the thubby, kind of tubby sound and it's where the note is on the drum. So I'm always going to play a little bit off center and if I keep those zones and think about my angle of my sticks, then I'm going to have a more, um, a more even sounding uh, sound on the drums. Okay. Thanks so much for all of the feedback and I uh, love seeing comments, signing up for the newsletter and all the above. So thank you so much and I will see you on the next episode of percussioneducation.com. Take care.